so the question is like we'll be writing a letter to the authorities on the broken or unconstructed roads so when we write a formal letter what we do first of all on the top we'll be writing our address so our address can be the examination hall and city or when we actually are writing a letter we can write our own address but because here we are writing letter to uh, uh, keeping in mind the examination so on the top will be our address like examination hall city so the point is like from whosoever you are whatever your address is that will come here okay then you can leave a line and you can uh, write the date so after date you will be writing uh, leaving a line again then you will be writing the address of the addressee receiver's address so receiver's address means first the designation the mayor uh, then uh, his address so complete address with his designation and the place where his office is then after the receiver's address you will again leave a line then we'll have the subject so what the subject is broken condition of or miserable condition of roads in the city right so that subject so what mistake usually the children commit here is uh, they write the the start subject with a uh, with present participle like uh, talking about or complaining about so don't start with ing form start with a noun form broken condition of the roads or the miserable condition of roads something like this so subject should be very to the point after the subject will be writing the uh, salutation so it can be the dear mayor or uh, whatever so whomsoever you are addressing the letter that designation can come and if you are very sure that that person is a man you can call him dear sir or if uh, that is a female you can call her dear ma'am but the point is like you should know otherwise uh, designation you can address the person with one's designation uh, writing dear sir oblique ma'am is not uh, acceptable i guess and afterwards uh, you will be right uh, after the dear salutation the content part will start okay content part will be followed by in the end when you have written everything so because here our concern is that we want that the authority should take some uh, step to improve the condition of the roads then looking forward to a favorable response from your side okay looking forward to a favorable response from your side means and the letter on a positive note then finally we'll be writing yours truly uh, how to like rough it's a final one yours truly whatever your name has been given okay when you are really writing a letter seriously then you can write your name but if you want to hide your identity you can write citizen of the city a resident of the city okay so this is how the format of the letter is but uh, the soul of the letter is its content like what you write inside so what when you writing the content of the letter you must take care of a few things so this was the format so when we talk about its content part then we'll be so content now so we can divide our letter into three parts first paragraph so here the first paragraph will be uh, no need to introduce yourself as such your name and all doesn't matter but yes you can talk in brief about yourself like who you are like how does uh, in what context are you writing this letter so self introduction without telling your name and your real identity okay your identity should not be disclosed you can talk about yourself as a resident as a concerned resident you can talk about your profession also in brief uh, okay so because your designation also matters when you are talking about some serious issue so even if uh, you don't want to mention your designation doesn't matter just uh, being a concerned resident of the city that is enough as your introduction so then you can talk about like uh, what makes you write this letter okay 
so talk about the very purpose of writing letter self introduction then purpose of writing letter so this is a concerned citizen i am a concerned citizen of the city who live in uh, one of the posh areas of it so i am very sorry to say that uh, the condition of the roads is so miserable that uh, i had to write this kind of letter to you so i am writing this letter to talk about the miserable condition of the roads of the city so purpose of writing letter then you elaborate this very thing in just one or two lines then in the second paragraph you elaborate second paragraph is details of issue so whatever your issue is give its details exactly talk about like which areas are you basically talking about give ample proof okay so here details means that give ample proof to verify like what you are saying so proof over here means that you talk about the exact areas where the condition is exactly miserable so there also you can talk about like uh, what mishaps already have happened or what mishap might happen okay second paragraph is the essence of your letter because it is here where you are giving the exact idea of what you are talking about and third paragraph is nothing but just then concluding concluding paragraph because here you can again uh, you can talk about the things which are otherwise going well in the city also okay it's not that the administration is doing nothing you are aware of so many things which are already happening they are also being done the roads are being made but yes something where wherever the problem is it needs to be immediately addressed and you are very sure that uh, the worthy administrators will do the needful at the earliest and you are looking forward to a favorable response from the authorities concerned with that okay do end the letter on a positive note don't keep on like uh, uh, cursing the administration because the administration is doing something or the other they are not sitting idle okay if there are some problems they will be sorted out that we must also believe in right so finally uh, looking forward to a favorable response from the concerned authorities yours to be whatever you are is that clear so it's the writing the letter to authorities about some problem is doesn't mean that we are cursing the authorities it doesn't mean that we are uh, criticizing the authorities it only means that we are uh, you know bringing we are bringing highlighting the fact that's it we just bring it to the notice of the authorities that this thing you know is there to be tackled so remember the purpose of writing a letter of complaint is not criticism is not curse it's about highlighting the issue and uh, seeking a solution for it is that clear the tone should be very formal and uh, and throughout the tone the respect should be given to the authorities is that clear so that's how you can conclude your letter